Lightest color. I don't know why. I am not smart enough to know why. And color is important. Color apparently dictates how we feel and what we wear. And subconsciously from day to day manipulates us into buying more and more things. And even in Minecraft we're told color matters. My question is, is this color stuff actually real or just a convenient lie? Okay, the first room. The white room. Meant to invoke peace, a calm state and clarity of mind. I mean, I've been in a uh, white void space before. What do I look like? Pale is the answer. And my eyes are missing. From two minutes of Googling, I'm not looking very hard at all. All the proof of this color stuff is based on people. We can't trust people. They're humans after all. They're based off feelings and emotion. And if the internet has taught me anything, feelings do not matter. It's the mindset, it's the grind. I'm fine. I'm definitely not burnt out. I'm fine. As you can tell, the first room, white. Not too bad, or it shouldn't be too bad because I've done, I stayed in a white void for ages. So this should be fine. Wait a minute. <gasps> it was my hair! I do have eyes! But now I'm bald. Father, is it better to have eyes or be bald? <sighs> okay. So, my question is, with all this colour stuff and all these feelings, if you go in with a tougher mindset, then colours not affect how we're feeling and our emotions. Now I'm gonna prove it by subjecting myself to like horrible torture again. Ooh. Yes. So smart. Help me. So I'm gonna spend a whole day immersed in specific colors. I'm going to be battling against the human psyche. And in each color, I'm going to eat, I'm going to sleep, and I'm going to work slash exercise to prove colors can't affect my everyday life. Smart, right? Nothing could go wrong here. This couldn't cause any issues or migraines or headaches. It's fine, I promise I thought this through. Okay, so. I have one rule for this challenge because I am super biased, but I have to be super 100% honest on am I feeling everything? If I'm just super strong willed, then I will not be affected by the colors in the rooms because you can just bluff your way out of it. So I have to be super honest to say if I am feeling it, even though I'm going to try my best not to feel it. And I don't know how that works, but. I've never been the smartest, so it's fine. It's fine. It was the first room of many, and the first task was just very simply eating. I'm holding a crisp in this hand. You're not getting motion sick from this, are you? you wouldn't, that wouldn't happen. That wouldn't happen at all. It's not like the camera's shaking every time I move my hand. I've eaten now. So, am I feeling angry? No. Am I feeling peaceful and serene? Well, I'm feeling normal. What does that say about me? Could it be that I have no emotions? <laughs> and I'm just in a blank void? But I'm gonna be completely honest, being in a white room is fine. So this room isn't really meant to affect me. So I'm kind of dreading the next one. Let me see if I can turn you around so you can see the red room. That's, this is gonna go fine. I haven't had anger issues this week, I promise. I'm lying. Let us go. I need to crouch to get in. I'm a dumbass. Oh, good lord, I hate it. The Red Room. It's meant to invoke anger, rage, love, power, strength, and danger. And it's... And apparently it's also meant to make you hungry. But was I even going to get angry? You see, actually... The reason I'm doing this is I have a little bit of a personal vendetta and I'm being a little bit petty. Maybe you can say that. Let me have a look around. This is a face cam POV. Believe it or not, it's red. And we just need to remember red is associated with anger and tons of other things. But you know, this is meant to be one of the more challenging rooms because it's red. I'm doing this because I want to paint my room blue. 
That is the whole reason. But everyone in the house says I can't do that because I will get depressed really easily if I do that. So I'm doing this video to prove I can paint my room blue because I'm petty. I guess I'm really burnt out as well. And this is my way of like venting frustration. Maybe I should just put a poster up in my room instead. So task one. Push up time. Any pants there? Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Push up! Uh, Weak link. Shut up! I'm trying! You die a bit quieter, please. <laughs> Maybe not push ups. I should do Pilates. I hate Pilates. The one thing I noticed. Well, how do I put it? I was being more rash. Have you sleep in VR? Ugh. The floor is so comfortable. And see the colour through my eyelids. This is horrible. But it's not gonna affect me because I'm strong. I have mental fortitude. And I wouldn't say I was angry, but my patience was definitely getting shorter. And time slept in the red room? Well, napped was 42 minutes. I definitely would not call it sleeping though. It's more like staring into the abyss. <laughs> Eating, there we go, I can eat. This is probably the wrong order I should be doing things. I've eaten a crisp, is that enough? It was time for the next room, the blue room. Which to be fair, could be the most important to my cause. Blue is meant to make you feel depressed, it's meant to feel low. That means the challenge is to stay happy and mainly avoid feeling down. What I didn't realise though is the other experiences were piling up. Hey, I'm blue now! I, I failed the parkour. Now, does that make me depressed? I will not be depressed because I'm in the blue room and I want to prove it. Blue room, yes. But the main priority for now was we actually had to focus on doing the tasks. Exercising in blue room. I'm going to try a push up again. Your father is not allowed to laugh. I can do crunches all day. Crunch! One, two, my back crack. Three, should I be making that noise? That wasn't your back. Wasn't it? Bye. Oh, that's not good. 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 Oh, that could be to a number of reasons. I was really tired and very low on energy. I was almost considering that this colour stuff maybe was right, but then something shook everything up. Ah, there's another right room. And I have fallen and died. I did not expect that. At the same time, we had other colours, and some were definitely not as forgiving. It's, um, yellow. But, you know, with all my defiance of like, hey, this isn't gonna affect me, this is gonna be completely fine. This room is making me feel nauseous. Like, it feels sickly. And uh, I've only been in here for like 10 minutes so far. I haven't done, even done any of the tasks. I mean, look at it. It's so yellow. I felt nauseous. I had a headache. But I completed the tasks. And that was not the end. There was still green and there was still pink to go. To be honest, I'm not actually too fast with green because I've done like green screen stuff in Minecraft tons and tons of times. So this is fine. I gotta get a cup of tea. If I can find my way. Find my way. Duh, boxing. I, I don't know how to box. Pink. To find out there's an actual pink room, but hey. Boxing, okay. I don't know how to box. I'm just waving my hands in the air. Like I do not care. Oh, I have a kitty cat! And a sewing machine! Oh, I really want them. Okay, let's get them. Wee! I made it! Ha ha! It's not a book. Oh, I thought there was a book in here! This is- I'm gonna have to close the door. Have I learnt anything from this? I don't actually know. I'm going to do it in voiceover because I haven't had time to formulate my thoughts and there's a lot of thoughts going on because I'm very confused. But that's my normal state of mind, so it is fine, I think. There's a light blue room? I didn't realise there's a light blue room. Oh, it's so pretty! Oh god, no, this hurts my eyes. Maybe I don't want a light blue room. Wait, what if I do a lavender room? Subscribe, because I'm so smart. Thank you.